Part two. Sean now down in ninth as his brother Brian goes past him. Debtors. That's Stevie Donnelly from the A class going past there. They start 10 seconds ahead of the NI7s, guys. Indeed, there's Ernie Black in second place and Graham Moore in third place in, that, in the A class. Going on the outside of Sean. Bit of a lock up there going into going into uh, Fisherman's. Colin Reid now in the lead. Goes hard through the chicane. Rand McGuinness is bound to be close. And here we have third place, Jimmy Dugan, the orange car, in behind Rand McGuinness. In second, and back up to the leader again. Again on the brakes, it's going to be so interesting to see what happens. Colin breaks late. Oh, leaves a bit of a gap on the inside. Bodies break late enough, there's no way to get past. Just see what Jimmy Dugan tries around the outside of Ryan. Can't quite do it, although it's close. And this squabbling's helping out Colin. Colin in the lead now. Coming across the start finish line. He leads them through debtors then. Colin Reid from Ryan McGuinness. Ryan now lining him up around the outside of Colonial. He's trying to do a Colin what Colin did to him. He breaks late. Oh, he keeps it tight. They both go wide. Oh, but Colin holds on. From Jimmy's point of view, you see Ryan went very wide. Oh, and Jimmy looks to snatch second. There you can see. Jimmy just nicking second now. So it's Colin from Jimmy from Ryan. With Ian Leinster, Mark Crawford, Sean McGoldrick, Johnny Armstrong, and there's Brian up in front of him. Back up with the leader now, Colin Reid, coming through Fisherman's. Oh, and Stevie Wright's got a problem. That looks like water or oil. And that's on the entrance down into Fisherman's. Here you can see it from one of the radicals. Water, it looks like. Water everywhere. That'll dampen up the track. That'll make things very interesting going down into there. Colin now down to the hairpin. In the lead, he's bound to have Jimmy very close to him. He's very strong in the brakes. Colin goes wide. Ducks in. There's no one there. Gets a good drive out. That's John McCandless's class A Jeanette up ahead. On board with Sean. As Johnny Armstrong nips through. Down into the hairpin. The leader, Colin again. Over the start finish line. And through into debtors. Ooh! Stevie Donnelly just goes past into debtors there. Big Honda S2000 park car. But we have Colin in front of Ryan. In front of Jimmy Dugan. see Colin's car moving about. That's where Stevie went off. You can see the Janetta there off to the side. Oh, and Grenmore locks up as well. Ryan's gone a bit wide. Rob McGrath going through Colonial. Arnie Black goes through. There's Sean McGoldrick now. That's Johnny Armstrong up ahead. Oh, and Johnny loses it in the water. Oh, the wet tracks caught him out. Sean manages to keep it keep it together. Nip past him. And that's Sean up in the eighth place. And we can see again from one of the radicals there. Nipping past Johnny Armstrong. Back to the lead the NI7s. It's Colin Reid coming down into the hairpin. Jimmy Dugan now in third. Oh, challenging Ram again, for second. Oh, runs very wide. Ryan nips back into second. 
Common meanwhile has a wee bit of a lead. And there's a yellow flag going around debtors. There must be a car off. There you can see the yellow. So there'll be no overtaking. So Ryan McGinnis now close right up to Colin, but he can't go. Oh, and there's there's Graham Moore's gone off in the radical. He rejoins in behind. In behind Ryan. You can see the big streak see can there along the along the track. That'll make everything very slippy. Canless and Mark Crawford through. The leader now down towards the chicane. Brian from Ian Leinster from Andy Parkinson from Sean McGoldrick back down the field a little. Rob McGrath again. Sean McGoldrick. He's going through the chicane. You can see his front wing on the left-hand side is now flapping, and it looks like it's going to come off. Hopefully it won't rub on a tyre. Colin now, the leader, down into the hairpin. Johnny Armstrong after his spin. Moved it back down a bit. Graham Moore after his off. Gets past Colin again. Down into Colonial. Oh, and <laughs> Graham's overcooked it again. Colin from Ryan. From Jimmy Dugan. This is the top three. Again, you can see the back of the car wanting to come round as soon as it gets in contact with that uh, the greasy surface. Colin had the lift off. They're all having to be a little careful around the back end of the circuit. Sean McGoldrick goes through. Colin now, again, down into the hairpin. Is there anyone in the brakes near him? Over the start finish line. Lining up debtors. Oh, and you can see Ryan McGuinness is right in behind him. He's lining him up. Doesn't do anything. Colin taking the defensive inside line through Colonial. He's holding him off. Ryan's very close behind him. Jimmy Dugan's dropped off a little in third. Mark Crawford down in the Fisherman's. Followed by Bram McGoldrick and Ian Leinster. Meanwhile, the leader, Colin Reid, has to attack those curves to carry as much speed as possible. Sean and Andy Parkinson through Colonial 2. And that looks like Johnny Armstrong going very slowly. Colin on the brakes down into the hairpin. Still ran, hasn't made a move. And here's Sean down into the hairpin. Again, Johnny Armstrong must be going very slowly, some kind of problem. That moves Sean up another place. Colin now coming through debtors. You can hear the other cars very close behind him. You can see there's the two leaders. Colin from Ryan. Again, Colin goes defensive around the inside. So little between them. Ryan goes a bit wider, turns in later. Can he go around the outside of Fisherman's? It'll be a heck of a move. No, Colin has the line. Johnny just cruising around now. Mark Crawford going strongly. Colin over the curbs. 
going down towards the hairpin. Brian McGoldrick from Ian Leinster. Oh, and one of the Westfields from Class A has got a little bit of a problem. It looks to be putting out some kind of water, as probably water as well. Andy Parkinson lines up Sean McGoldrick. Goes up the inside with the fishermen's. And you can see the move from Sean's point of view. And he stays in around the inside. You can see that Westfield putting out a lot of water up ahead. Made the track too wet. Sean in behind. Andy Parkinson out. Back up the leaders. It's Sean from Ryan. Will Ryan try him on the brakes? Going down into the hairpin. You can hear the other engine very close by. Colin up the middle. Goes in around Detters. Still holds the lead. Again, very conscious of not letting Ryan have a run up the inside. They're both going different sides of that uh, wet line up the track. Jimmy Dugan still in third. for Colin. Mark Crawford followed by Bram McGold, Rick and Ian Lanster. Brian in fifth, Ian in sixth. Andy Parkinson up ahead there in seventh and Sean in eighth. Stephen Donnelly in the black car, Monday S2000 part, I say it. As is Arnie Bax's green Crossley. There you can see the Crossley going around the lap. Andy. Oh, and is there contact? Andy's off. Andy's off. So that's Sean up the seventh. Robin McGrath continuing on. Back to the leader. And there goes Ryan up the inside, he's making his move down into the hairpin. Colin goes wide, trying to carry more speed. Can't quite manage it. It looks like Ryan has it. And this is the start of the last lap. Colin's only got one lap to get. He's looking up the inside right there. Owns a piece of debris, he has to lift. And you can see the amount of distance that's cost him to the leader. Ryan now. Can afford to take the racing line right. He's gone very wide though. Can Colin? Colin's closed up, but is it enough? Colin's staying the inside of the wet mark there. Jimmy Dugan's still in third. Colin frantically trying to get back onto terms with Ryan. He's got cleanly through the chicane and out of it well. But it looks like he's lost a little bit of ground to Ryan. I don't think he'll be able to get that back on the brakes. Down into the hairpin for the final time. Colin very late in the brakes again. He closes right up. But Ryan always just had enough. And it looks like Ryan's got this one in the bag. Ryan wins from Colin the second. Third place was Mark Crawford after Jimmy Dugan was disqualified for an underweight car. Bamba Bullock a fourth and Ian Leinster in fifth.